YouTube, Gabriel Say, aka the Truth representing Fearless Academy. Alright, so I've got a question from the subscriber. His name, his YouTube name is Luke567. And basically his question is asking for new lifter advice. He's quite new to the gym and he's looking for ways to target the lower chest. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about why I started lifting almost 12 years ago and what I did when I first started lifting. Okay, so growing up, I was always a skinny one. I was always a short one. Girls never really looked at me. Got to uni in Bristol and I decided enough's enough. I'm taking reign of this situation and I'm gonna get girls. So, met my friend JK and we decided to start gymming. It was quite good because he had a background, he, he had been gymming for a couple years before me, so he showed me the ropes. But my initial, before the American football, before anything, yeah I was sporty, I played basketball, I was athletic, I did 100 meters, I did 60 meters, you name it, I pretty much did it. But talking about gym physique, I wasn't really into that until I got to uni. Guys, I can't stress this enough. If you're new to the gym, there is no point, no point in trying to target one specific muscle. If you haven't built the foundation first, you can't add extras. Think of it this way. It's like wanting to put a lock conversion into a house you haven't built yet. You need to build the house, make sure the house is structurally sound, then put the added extras in. So, do your general compound movements, do your bench press, do your squat, do your deadlifts. By all means, do the um, added exercises like the cable flies, um, bicep curls, but then in terms of actually trying to target a specific muscle, wait until at least two years of just of general lifting. I'm not saying that you have to do full body workouts and stuff like that. You can do splits. Our split was chest and tries, back and buys, legs and shoulders and abs. That was what we started with. So start with something like that and build a foundation over one year, two years. Once you've actually seen how your physique develops, JK's chest was huge. I was benching more. <laughs> At one point, he benched more than me before. I think I started on like 25 kilo bench. <laughs> but the, the fibers that he's got in his chest, they just blow up. But if he started targeting just one area from the beginning, he wouldn't have known that because he hasn't built a foundation to see what his strong points are, what his weak points are. And he'd just be almost fighting a losing battle. But once you've built your foundation and you see what your strengths and weaknesses are, guess what? Time to work those weaknesses. That's how I would do it. I'm going to stop the video here because I can ramble on as you probably know. I decided yesterday that a lot of people want to see information like this, especially I'm thinking when I first started lifting. I, if I had YouTube then and I had people like Matt Ogus, Chris Jones, all these people telling me what to do, I would be laughing right now. But I didn't. You do. So, I'm going to start a new series called Rookie Bodybuilding 101, where I'll be taking you through just the basics of certain things. So, if you're a student, the next episode is most probably going to be Bodybuilding on 
on a student budget. Because bodybuilding can be expensive, but it can also be done on a budget. So make sure you stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like, comment, share. And until next time, this is Gabriel Say, aka The Truth, signing up. Peace.